welcome back. In the last video we saw that we had a simple algorithm or a forward model for logistic regression. Recall that the forward model was y hat equal to sigmoid of w dot x where w includes w naught. So, w naught w 1 upper till w n if you have n features and x here is 1 x 1 up till x n. So, this was our forward model. Now, the question is what is a good cost function for this? Remember in our usual learning paradigm what we have is I have an x, this predicts a y hat, the ground truth is some y and I wish to find out some cost or penalty for y hat and y being different. Okay. So, now why not use the least squares cost function? So, the least square cons function was simply y minus y hat squared divided by 2. Of course, I am taking this for one particular incident or one particular example. The usual thing was we take the sum of all the examples and take an average that is what we did for linear regression. So, why not use this for classification? It turns out that this is not a good model. Okay. So, it is not a good cost function it is or at least it is not an optimal cost function for several reasons. I will just mention one. Okay. Now, if you recall in a binary classification problem for a given x, the ground truth y and even y hat all of these y is either 0 or 1, y hat lies between 0 and 1, okay. it is some decimal number. Now, suppose you are doing a case where you are trying to distinguish between let us say something as serious as cancer and no cancer or even if it is a cat versus a dog. Now, notice that even if you totally misclassify, okay. so for example, y is 0 and let us say y hat is 1. Okay. So, you are totally misclassifying, for example, a case where the actual prediction or ground truth is the person does not have cancer and you say it is cancer, the cost that you incur for misclassification that is when y is 0, if you say y hat is 1 or close to 1, let us say 0.99, we saw in the previous video that y hat gives an estimate of probability that the prediction is actually or the class is actually 1. So, when we want to predict something as clear as a classification and you give a misclassification, the cost incurred for that is actually very low. Okay. That is we do not penalize this cost high enough, okay. even though there is a penalty it is not high enough. So, because of that, that is one of the reasons why the usual least square cost function is a bad cost function for classification. We instead use something called the binary cross entropy cost function. The form of that cost function is different. So, j is there is a negative outside minus y times l n y hat plus 1 minus y times l n 1 minus y hat. Now, we will come to the reasons for each of these terms shortly, okay, including why there is a minus and why both these terms are sitting there. Okay. So, now let us think about some properties of the cost function that we want to have and let us check whether this has it or not. 
So, some desirable properties for a classification cost function. First of course, is if j should be 0 if y is equal to y hat. This is the first thing that we have to check. Okay. Second, j should be very high for misclassification. And the third, this is merely required for consistency is that j should be greater than equal to 0. Remember when we had our least square cost function, least square is obviously always positive. Okay. So, let us check this step by step. I okay. will start with here. Notice y hat will always lie between 0 and 1, it is a probability. Okay. So, instead of saying that this person has cancer or not, you will say something like the probability that this person has cancer is 0.9 that is going to be the outcome of your logistic regression. Why is that? Because if you notice our y hat is sigmoid of something and the sigmoid always goes between 0 and 1. Because of that y hat is constrained to be between 0 and 1. Okay. Notice that y is either 0 or 1, it is not between 0 and 1, it is either 0 or 1. Why is that? Because y is the ground truth, ground truth we already know ground truth, this is a supervised learning task, you already know whether this person has cancer or not, this is x history or if you are trying to classify images, let us say cat and dog, you have already a labeled set and it is based on that label set that you are training. So, you already have all these labels available. Okay. So, y is either 0 or 1, y hat is between 0 and 1, therefore, ln of y hat is going to be negative y is going to be either 0 or 1. So, this t whole term is negative. Similarly, this term is also negative and that is why you have this minus sign. So, that the whole term actually becomes positive, negative multiplied by negative, this is positive. So, this is the function of the minus sign, it is just to make j positive, so that it is uh, consistent with least squares. Okay. That is the first. Okay. Now, let us see, is j equal to 0 if y equal to y hat? Okay. So, let us take a few cases y is 0 and y hat is 0. Okay. Now, the moment y is 0 and y hat is 0 or close to 0, I will keep it close to 0 just to avoid the singularity at exactly 0. Why am I keeping it close to 0? Because sigmoid is actually never going to give you exactly 0. Remember, sigmoid is 1 plus or sigmoid of z is 1 plus 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus z. Okay. Okay. So, in case y is 0 and y hat is close to 0, let us say 10 power minus 6, then this term is close to 0 and this term is again going to become close to 0. Why is that? This is 1 and 1 minus y hat, this becomes ln of 1, so this becomes 0. j is approximately 0. Similarly, you can check if y is 1 and y hat is close to 1, okay, then this term is exactly 0 and this term is going to be 1 multiplied by ln of approximately 1. So, this is also going to be approximately 0. Okay. So, this condition is also satisfied. That is, if you classify correctly, your cost function is going to be approximately 0. And third, uh, which is the main property which, so these two properties are true of least squares also, but this property is the one that least squares does not satisfy. Okay. So, what we want is j should be quote unquote high okay, in case you have misclassified. So, let us check that, I will check it just for one case. So, let us say y is 0, but y hat is approximately 1, let us say 0.99 or something of that sort. So, just to give you an example, suppose the person does not have cancer or the image is let us say a dog and you end up saying that this is actually not a dog and I am very, very certain about it. Okay. I am certain up till like 
99.99 percent that this is actually a, a cat. Okay. So, you are actually misclassifying with high probability. Then what happens to the cost function? So, let us take a look, let us come here. So, in this case y was 0, so this term actually becomes 0 because y hat is close to 1 and this term becomes actually 0 because y is actually 0. What happens to this term? So, y is 0 which means the coefficient here is approximately 1 and y hat is approximately 1 which makes this term approximately 0 and what is ln of 0? ln of 0 is minus infinity. So, you have got a minus sign here and you are going to throw up a really high cost because you have misclassified. Okay. So, that is the trick that we are using j tends to infinity as y hat tends to 1. Okay. Also, you can check as an exercise that if y is 1, okay, so the ground truth is 1 and if y hat is approximately 0, j will again tend to infinity. Okay. So, the basic trick here is that in case you have a misclassification, you are going to throw up a very high cost and in case you have a correct classification, you are going to get j equal to 0 or approximately equal to 0 dependent on how close you are to correct classification. Okay. So, this is what is called the binary cross entropy cost function. So, along with the least squares function, these two are the main two loss functions that we will be using more or less throughout the course. Okay. We will have a small modification to the binary cross entropy cost function uh, uh, shortly when we take a multi class classification problem, but it is a very minor adjustment to what actually exists. Okay. So, just two cost functions, they for regression typically we use a regression type problem, we typically use something like a least square cost function and for a classification problem, we primarily use something like a binary cross entropy cost function. Thank you.